Gary here from Gary's Garage. Um, we're here today to take a look at some really cool watches. I know guys that are into luxury cars are also into luxury watches so this is a shameless plug to get more people to watch our uh, YouTube channel and uh, support Archie Luxury. So let's take a look at some of these watches. All right so what's the first two watches we've got here? So the two watches we're looking at today are two variants of um, what are known as Rolex Submariners. These are dive watches. Um, I've got sort of the, mm -hmm. the most quintessential Rolex here, which is the Submariner No Date. Now, a dive watch, um, as it sounds, is, is supposed to be used for when people go diving. Now, I don't know who would ever go diving in a Rolex these days, <laughs> but when they first came out um, in the middle of last century, these were really sports watches. And so mm -hmm. the Rolex Submariner um, No Date is a really really classic Rolex. Um, this is the newest version with a ceramic bezel. Um, worldwide you really can't get what's known as steel sports Rolex watches anymore. Um, a lot of what I learned about watches I learned by watching Archie Luxury uh, and, and you could kind of get a sense last year that these were going in real short supply and so I jumped at the opportunity to buy any of these watches that I saw when I saw them at an authorized dealer. Um, watches like this, you can't find them anymore. Um, you have to go online and try to buy them used. Um, and the prices have just skyrocketed in the past year. And, and that's probably in large part because the demand for steel sports Rolex has shot through the roof, especially in China. Um, so lots of cool things about this watch. What I really like about it is that uh, just the deep color, the rich color. Yeah. It's really gorgeous. You know, the, what, what they say about a Rolex is um, you can tell it's a real Rolex if it's perfect because they do everything perfectly well. Yeah. Um, it's super solid, feels heavy on the wrist. Um, and, and I say this as a dive watch. Um, the way this works is it has this bezel and you can see that it's got zero to 60 minutes lined out on the bezel. So if you mm -hmm. dive in the water, what you do is you turn this to the minutes hand. It only turns in one direction. Um, and you set it for when you started the dive and then you can see how long you've been underwater. Ah. And so you can't turn it the other way because that way you can't accidentally be underwater for too long. Mm. And so we just turn it to the minute hand and then if you're underwater, you know, that's sort of the safe time to be diving and then you can see, okay, I've been in the, been in the water for a certain amount of wow, time and it's, it's time to come out. Um, I'm a little OCD so I like to keep it right at the top mm -hmm. um, when I wear it. But if you're on a plane uh, and the pilot says, you know, we got 22 minutes to land, you could just spin this over to where the, the minute hand is and then you could sort of figure out how much time you got left. So it's a yeah. cute little trick. Handy. But otherwise, this is a very basic watch. It's a very popular watch because it's basic. It's very symmetric. Um, it's very smooth. Simple watch, hours, minutes, seconds. Um, keeps very good time. It's an automatic watch, so if you wear it every day, it'll stay wound. Um, and it's about plus or minus two seconds a day uh, in time. The other really cool thing about the diver watches, um, first of all, all the modern steel sports Rolex have this super robust milled clasp that just has a lot of quality, mm -hmm. screams of quality when you put it on your wrist. Um, slips on the wrist. But the nice thing about the dive watch, of course, if, if you're going to use it to go diving, um, you need to expand it. And so it comes with this quick ability to make the watch uh, a little looser oh, so you can put it over your dive suit. Dive suit. Wow. Um, for me, I like that because in the summer, you know, your wrist might get a little, little sweaty, a little larger, and so mm -hmm. you can, you know, make adjustments on the fly. Quickly, yeah. Very quickly. Um, it's got a classic Rolex um, Oyster case, which means um, in order to adjust the time, you actually have to unscrew it until it pops out, unscrew this crown, then it pops out. That's how you wind it. If you pull it further, you can set the time. When you push down to screw it back on, that screw down case, uh, screw down crown is, is what makes it waterproof um, because that mm -hmm. protects the movement inside um, from water. And it's, it's good. This one is rated to um, 300 meters uh, of depth. But the, wow. 
the value of these watches is means if you're going to go diving in a Rolex, you're yeah. kind of crazy, right? Yeah, um, you wouldn't want me to test that out on a, test a lake out, right? over here yeah. in Michigan, um, would you? You know, these are so popular and so valuable, literally worth more than, than gold. On, I'll go on swimming and play on the beach and grind yeah. around in the surf. Now, people do that, and they yeah. certainly did it when Rolex first came out. Um, I don't. I like to keep my yeah, watches. Yeah, it's way too nice to Keep my watches like clean. So. Yeah, but if you them. sort of look at what a quintessential Rolex is, this is a sports, steel sports Rolex, this the Submariner No Date is um, is really popular. I, I was lucky to buy it at retail. Um, the way the watch market's working right now for Rolex is <clears throat> the dealers don't have any stock, and if they get stock, um, they have to sell it at the Rolex price. Mm -hmm. So I think this might have been eighty three hundred dollars. You can't buy it used for less than nine or ten uh, these days on apps like Chrono Twenty Four. Um, so if if a dealer gets a version of this and you're lucky enough to be able to buy it from the dealer. Um, you're making a profit walking out the door yeah. uh, because they have to sell it for the Rolex approved price. But in the secondary market, it's more valuable than new because wow. you just can't buy it. Not anymore. many watches appreciate like that. Rolex right now is the, is, and maybe Patek Philippe, which I'm sure we'll talk about in another video. Um, depends which watch you buy, but almost all steel sports Rolex have gone crazy in the past year. Mm. It's a worldwide shortage of them. Mm. Again, driven by demand in China. Um, all of the production is just getting soaked up and and sent over to China. And so mm. if you walk into a, a luxury mall and you find a, a Rolex dealer, um, you're not gonna see any steel sports Rolex. And steel sports Rolex is basically Submariner, Daytona, Explore II, um, the sort of standard um, steel watches. Rolex also makes some gold watches and we'll show some of those later. Uh, but it's the steel sports right now that have really gone crazy. Mm -hmm. So the second one we got here is a special watch. This is my favorite yeah. of all the, the watches that uh, you've, you've brought. I just, for me, it's the color. I've never yeah. seen one. So green is the so official cool. color of Rolex. Um, green is the official color of Rolex. Uh -huh. and, and this is a Submariner as well. It's the same function. You can see it has the bezel. It's a dive watch. It has the same trick on the wrist, um, on the clasp that allows it to expand, you know, plus or minus um, a fair bit uh, pretty quickly. Green, green watches are usually issued by Rolex to mark special occasions. And so these are a little bit less um, prominent and a little harder to find, which makes them more valuable. Mm -hmm. um, so if there's a shortage of steel sports Rolex, there's a real shortage of, of a watch like this, which is known as the Hulk. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Submariner Hulk. Again, it's, it's the latest version with the super case. Um, this watch is probably the second most sought after steel sports Rolex behind the new Daytonas, the ceramics. Um, Daytona ceramic right now, uh, you can't find it for less than twenty-two, twenty-three thousand dollars. Even though the retail is half that amount, uh, mm -hmm. just can't buy them. Uh, and so, if you're lucky enough to get one at retail, you're, you're making a big score. Mm -hmm. um, again, I knew this shortage was coming because I watched Archie Luxury a lot, and you could just get a sense um, that less and less of these watches were showing up, and more and more of them were being bought by um, wealthy people in Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, when I walked into the to the deal and I saw they had a Hulk in stock. Uh, it was a real gift, and I bought it. Mm -hmm. Bought it on the spot. I think the retail price was maybe ninety-three hundred. You can't buy this now for less than fifteen. Um, they're going for sixteen or seventeen. I, I bought this watch eighteen months ago. Mm -hmm. um, that's a pretty good return. Absolutely. Uh, I owe that return to Archie. Yeah. Because uh, I saw the watch and I jumped on it. Um, I don't view this as spending money. I view this as investing it. If you buy the right watch at the right price um, at the mm -hmm. right time. They go up in value. Yeah, and you can enjoy it and and, and, exactly. and make money. So it exactly. doesn't get any better than that. And then the only other difference between this watch and the no date is, of course, it has the date window uh, with the Cyclops uh, lens over the date. And so you can see, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, it's we're shooting this on June 23rd. Uh, but other than that, it's basically very similar to the no date, um, except it's green and, and it's got a date. Uh, so this is the Hulk. The Hulk is in very, very high demand right now. Um, gorgeous watch. And uh, unfortunately, we have a little spot on it. Oh, so I should have wiped that off before we shot it. But um, and it goes with the it goes with the colors of this yeah. Buick. I mean, this is the original Buick color here well, in the aqua, like blue interior. Yes. I was just saying, it's like in between both. It's just beautiful. And that's why I brought it. Uh, that's what made me think about coming <clears> to talk <throat> watches on the trunk of this mm -hmm. great Buick um, because of this green Rolex that I have. And, and green is the color of Rolex, and Rolex is luxury. And, yeah. And so is Gary's garage. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Um, let's get those tucked away, and then we're going to take a look at a few more that, that you brought. You bet.
a couple of nice examples of modern Rolexes to show you here, Gary, um, on the hood of this gorgeous 66 Buick Riviera. The first one is, is a Rolex Explorer 2. 